Hi, I'm George Pearson, and this is a tutorial video for Adobe's Photoshop program. You'll find links in the description for any materials used in this video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, like, and also share the video. I really appreciate that. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the video. This is a quick video showing how to use one of the most useful tools inside of Photoshop. This is version 6 of Spring right here, but the same tools in several different versions of Photoshop. Now the problem is, let's say you have a lot of snapshots. You're taking things back when film used to be available, and you want to scan these into digital format. And you just toss them onto your scanner and scan away. Now, I went ahead and purposely kind of really messed the positions up here. And that's what this tool does. You can scan multiple shots at one time, and then Photoshop will go in and straighten these out, crop into them, and then save them out as, or put them into individual files. So it does a whole lot of this work for you. I could, of course, come in here and select out each one of these sections, save it to a new file, straighten it by hand, and crop all that kind of fun stuff. But why spend all the time doing that? Let me show you where this really neat tool is hidden. It's over here under File and down under Automate right there. Come down, Crop and Straighten Photos. Now again, this is in several versions of Photoshop, so this should be easy to find. Now this is all automatic. As you can see here, it's in the, under the Automate section. The whole thing is automatic. Click on this, and it's going to go right away and do the job. Now make sure that your image is on the top layer, and you're clicked on that top layer for it to do this job. Okay, File. Automate, crop and straighten, and let's so go ahead and do the job. There it is, that fast. I couldn't even finish one sentence before it had finished the job. So here's the initial scan. That's the full bed on my flatbed scanner. I just tossed four pictures down onto there. I didn't care how they lined up. And it went in and found the pictures, cropped them out, and put them into separate files all in one shot. Now it's not perfect. As you can see, if I zoom in on these, you see also that a, a low resolution for us video. But you can see there's a little bit of an edge showing here and here. You may need to do a little bit of additional cropping on these things to get them a little bit nicer. It's still just a little bit off on that, but not too bad. I mean, it, it's almost, almost perfect. That one looks pretty good. There's a little bit of a white edge showing here. You may want to crop in on that just a pixel or so. And same thing here, just off just a bit at the top and the bottom right there. So you want to crop it maybe a little bit. If you want to take this you know, one step further, you can at this point come in and then do the rest of your work. You can you know, go up to image up here, image rotation. Let's just do arbitrary. And I'm going to spin this clockwise by just one degree. See if we can fix that little bit right there. Choose OK. Looks like one degree is actually too much. So let's just undo that, maybe a third of a degree even. Now when you do this rotation, you can use decimals in here. So I'll do a point 30, about a third. And that looks just about right. So there we go. Did a point 3, and that got that rotation exactly right. And I can then finish the crop off in here. Just bring in my crop handles and carefully adjust those. Now if, it's, if you're right against the edge here, you may want to make sure that you don't have snap on. So undo snap and that will let you get right up against that edge without having that edge snap in on you which is again just a bit of an annoyance. But there we go. I mean that's that's it. That's the whole job. As you can see most of the work was done for us by Photoshop. And there we go. I probably want to crop in just a little bit more on that one. But there it is. That's how to use that crop and straighten tool. And again it allows you to scan several pictures at one time and then break those up and do most of the work rotation and so forth all in one step and it's under file automate and crop and straighten photos right there thank you for watching this special photoshop photography project video don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here you can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. 
And then thank you again for watching this training video.